Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here, and Blizzard just revealed the next Hearthstone expansion. It's Titans, with all capital letters, because Titans are pretty influential characters. They are the main leaders of the Order faction in World of Warcraft, and we have been following Titans, and we have adventured in many of the old Titan facilities throughout the history of World of Warcraft, because Titans spend a lot of time on Azeroth, ordering Azeroth and actually don't tell anybody, but Azeroth is actually a sleeping titan herself. Well, anyway, announcing Titans Hearthstone's newest expansion. Before the Age of Mortals, the Titans came to the world. These massive beings used arcane magic and ancient technology to imprison the old gods and bring order to the nascent planet. They imbued their keepers with celestial powers to watch over the planet and help forge the many beings that would inhabit it. This is what myths are made of. This is Titans. It's interesting that currently we are exploring the Titan lore a little bit more during World of Warcraft Dragonflight, and there are some things about Titans that they might have been a little, little less valiant than, than we have been led to believe sometimes. Anyway, coming to Hearthstone, launching worldwide on August 1st with 145 new cards, Legendary Titans and Keepers. Each class gets a Titan, a celestial being born of a world soul like Azeroth's. Minions with the new Titan keyword have three special activated abilities that they use instead of their normal attack. Each turn, including the turn you play them, you can choose to activate one of those abilities. Once an ability is used, that ability cannot be chosen again. Once all three abilities have been used, the Titan attacks normally instead of with its abilities. So... Depending on your perspective, you can think of these a little bit like planeswalkers in Hearthstone. Obviously, they will eventually run out of abilities and then they become just a regular minion that will fight on the board. But they have some planeswalker style qualities. If you were a mercenaries player, you could also recognize this. Hey, it's like mercenaries being brought to Hearthstone main game mode. You get to choose from three abilities. Use your ability. Yep, that's that's all pretty familiar. I'm. I'm curious about the choice of the keyword here, Titan, because Titans are, these are the main beings of order. So this Planeswalker style implementation could have gone well with some other other characters as well than Titans. So this is a little awkward to bring back. Then again, Hearthstone isn't too picky about the use of keywords. So maybe they can just call other stuff Titans as well. Then the Titans created powerful Keepers that they imbued with some of their power. The Keepers were left to create, nourish and protect fledgling life on the planet. And each class gets one of these world-shaping legendary minions like Hodare, Fire of Giants, Battlecry, set the stats of the next three minions you play to 8-8. And tier, Battlecry resurrects 2, 3 and 4 attack Paladin minion. So Paladin is getting resurrect stuff, alright. Keep an eye out for dedicated Titan's lore block coming soon. Okay. New keyword, Forge. Like the Titans and the Keepers, you can hold the power of creation in your hand. Cards with the Forge keyword can be dragged over to your deck and upgraded into its Forge form for two mana. Example, Embrace of Nature. Draw or choose one card. Forge it has both effects combined. And when it's Forge, draw or choose one card. It has both effects combined. Uh -huh. Titans brought advanced technologies to Azeroth, creating massive cities, complex machinery, and mechanical beings. Some of these decisions mix come with the returning keyword magnetic. Well, magnetic minions can be magnetized to other mix already in play. And this time it looks like Blizzard is adding a little bit more complexity to your average magnetic card. Obviously, not many have been revealed yet. But magnetic cards previously, there was like Divine Shield, Taunt. There was, well, there was Ciliax, which also gave Rush and Lifesteal. Then there was some Death Rattle Summon stuff. Then there were just stats, big stat buckets. And these, Magnetic. After these attacks, give a random minion in your hand, plus one, plus one. Okay, and Magnetic still for one turn. So this, you actually want to magnetize after you have attacked. And then it gives the minion stealth. So a little bit of complexity added here to the magnetic keyword. It's going to be interesting, especially in the more eternal formats, to see what sort of mech stuff can be built around this expansion. And then Prison of Yogg's Saron Lock-in reward available now. After the Titanforge armies defeated the old guards, the keepers were tasked with watching over their prisons. The power of the old guards was contained, but now their influence has started seeping through. Yeah. Seven mana, neutral, legendary location. 
Choose a character, cast four random spells, targeting it if possible. Well, I'm glad this is unlikely to be competitive viable, so I don't think this is going to be played in any meta decks. Then again, that is kind of a downgrade, because if you think back one year, one year ago we got Prince Renatal as the, as the preview legendary, the login legendary. And now we get this, which is like more of a meme card. But oh boy, that, that's going to be annoying when you see that in a game. But it shouldn't win many games. There's also a new signature look. Signature cards in Titans will have a new art style. Okay, not a bad art style. I, I kind of like it. There are a total of 15 different signature cards in Titans. Signature cards can be disenchanted. Know that they changed the way signature cards work a while back. You can disenchant signature cards. You will get dust that if it was a golden card, but you can't craft them back. So the only way to get those signature cards is through packs, shop, or some special events and stuff. So yeah, do be wary about disenchanting your signatures, even though it is possible now. And if you dislike the art style, for example, then you can totally go for it. Pre-purchase Titans. Titans Mega Bundle includes 80 Titans card packs, 5 Golden Titans card packs, 1 random Titans signature legendary card, 1 random Titans golden legendary card, 1 diamond Ziliax, the Inge Death Knight hero skin and the Inge card pack. Okay. And Titans Bundle includes 60 packs, 2 random legendary cards and the card pack. All right. Previous bundles will only be available on the launch of Titans on August 1st. Remember, they once did so that you could pre-purchase for up to a week after the expansion launches. It looks like they were not happy. They want to create this fear of missing out so that you want to buy these as soon as possible instead of giving you an option to first play and see a little bit. Okay, do I actually enjoy this? Do I really want to spend my money on this? And yeah, I mean, that's just marketing strategies but still something to be aware of. Get them early, so you don't miss your chance to grab these titantastic deals. Pre-order bundles typically are fairly good deals if you want to spend money on Hearthstone, so yeah, might be okay. As for the reveal schedule, reveals are beginning on July 3rd, so that's Monday next week. So we have a little bit less than a week until the reveals will start coming in. And this is a big reveal season, a long reveal season. It lasts until July 23rd, so almost three weeks of reveals. And note that they have bundled the classes together again. And of note that I looked at it first as some like iconic stuff, probably legendaries, probably some of those titans, that sort of stuff coming at the start. Then we have the neutral cards on July 11th and July 12th. So once you have the neutral cards, then you can like you're ready to start brewing as soon as you get some class stuff. And then we start to get the class cards. So July 13th, we should have the Death Knight cards and all of the neutrals, which means that you can start actually building Death Knight decks on July 13th. And then Hunt the decks July 15th, Rogue decks July 15th, Priest, Druid, Paladin, Demon Hunter, Shaman, Mage, Warlock, Warrior. So, yeah, this time... Very, very solid reveal schedule, I think. That's a lot of potential brewing that you can do because you will get the neutrals, you get some of the iconic stuff, and then you start to get all the class cards, class by class. So I really think this is looking like a, this is looking like a pretty good reveal season, even though it is a fairly long one. So that's Titans. Hearthstone's next expansion. Yeah, sounds interesting enough. We'll have to wait and see what the cards are going to look like. We're going to start seeing them in a week. And in a few weeks, we'll know a lot more about this expansion. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.